Electrometric Limited enjoys a high credit rating in Indian money market due to its strong financials and a track record. Kim Software Limited is a new but growing company. Electrometric and Kim Software Limited can obtain loan at the rates given below. CD Company Mumbai Interbank Money Deposit Rate with market with variable rate. So we have been provided with the fixed rate and the floating rate. So this is fixed rate and this is a floating rate. For E limited and for T limited. Here T means the risk free 15 years government of India bonds. E limited wants to take loan at variable rate. So E limited wants to take the loan at my bar plus 0.1 percentage. While T limited wants to take loan at the fixed rate. So as far as the team software is concerned, it wants to borrow at treasury well plus 2.1 percentage that is the fixed rate. The two companies approach a bank to design a suitable swap. A part of the question. If the bank wants to have a profit of 0.2% to be contributed from team softwares out of the total share that is a profit of swap, share of swap benefit, what would be the two agreements that the bank will enter with these two companies? What are the likely cost of the debt? to the two companies, that is a question. Try to do answer on your own. Chal. Let us uh, see how to do answer. The question is providing the information that Electrometric Limited enjoys high credit rating in India, that is in Indian money market due to its strong financials and its track record. Team software is a new, but it is a growing company. Electrometric and team software can obtain the loan at the rates given below. So we have been provided with both fixed and the floating rate. Electrometric wants to take loan at the variable rate. So this company wants to take loan at the floating rate, like that information is given. My bar plus 0.1 percentage. While team software wants to take loan at the fixed rate. Please write an answer along with me. Step number one, interest payment in total, comma, if they borrow individually. So it is E limited and T limited. For E limited, the interest payment will be my bar plus 0.10 percentage. And for T limited, it is T plus 2.10 percentage. So the total interest payment will be M plus T plus 2.20. This is the interest payment if at all, say they borrow independently. Step number two. Both companies comma would be advised to borrow differently. So again it is E limited and T limited. For E limited what would be the interest charges? We understand as it is T plus 0 0.50 and for T limited it is my bar plus 0.6 percentage.
So if at all they borrow like this, then in that case, it is again m plus t plus 1.10. So we understand that say if at all they borrow collectively like this, then instead of paying interest of 2.2, they have to pay interest of 1.1. So difference between both of them is 1.1 percentage as the savings of the interest. That is step number three. In that, that is swap arrangement. In that write down. If both the companies borrow as shown in step number two, comma, there will be savings of interest. By 1.1 percentage. Full stop. Considering swap charges, and advantage, of savings of interest, comma, net cost will be as under. Okay. So, over here, E limited and T limited. See, they were ready to pay like this, M plus 0.10 and T plus 2.10. M plus 0.10 and T plus 2.10. This is the interest that say they were ready to pay. Now the question is providing the information like this. If the bank wants to have a profit of 0.2 percentage, to be contributed by teams of S out of the total profit of the swap. Share of the swap benefit, what would be the two agreements? Okay. So we understand that say there is swap charges of 0.2 percentage. However, that swap charges is required to be paid by a company which is having comparatively lower credit rating. That is 0.2 percentage. Then share of swap benefit. So there is savings of interest by 1.1 percentage. So it is 1.10 divided by 2. That comes to 0 0.55 and 0 0.55. Because 0 0.55 is what we understand is the advantage that these two companies will have individually and the swap charges is required to be borne only by one of the two companies. So what will happen? We understand it's a 0.10 minus 155. So as far as E limited is concerned, it has to pay M minus 0.45. That is what it is required to pay. And as far as uh, the other company is concerned, it is 2.10 plus 0.10 minus 0.55 that is 1.75 so t plus 1.75 is what it is required to pay this is the way the final interest cost that say they will have friends over here the question says that say you are required to what would be the two agreements it means that say we are required to prepare the swap table in a way that we have to prepare a table that how the swap arrangement will be made between these two companies. So I am writing the swap arrangement.
between two companies that is E limited and T limited. First of all, try to complete the table on your own. So, first of all, we are required to show payment of interest to bank. Of course, for the funds that you borrow, that we will take from step number two. So, it is T plus 0.5 and uh, M plus 0.6, T plus 0.5 and M plus 0.6. That is what so the way that so they are going to borrow so from the bank. Step number two. The next is the swap charges. This time the swap charges is required to be paid only by one company that is T. What is the amount of the swap charges? 0 0.20. After the internal with the borrowing lending swap arrangement, the final answer will be like this T plus 1.75. And over here the final answer is M minus 0.45. This is the interest that say they have to pay. Finally, and of course, comparatively it is less. So they are interested in the swap arrangement. Now we can start with the E company or T company, either of the way you can start. Let us start with the T company. That is T borrows from E. We can take any rate. Let us assume that it is borrowing at the rate of M. So what happens that it is required to pay M and it will receive M. I am taking M plus 0.95. Why M plus 0.95? I just explained that to you. So it will receive M plus 0.95. Then E borrows from T. We understand that over here, as far as the T company is concerned. I am sorry, E will borrow from T, E borrows from T at the rate M, so that uh, the floating rate of interest burden will shift. Then T will borrow from E, what is the rate of interest at which it will borrow? We understand that it will borrow at the rate of T plus 0.95. Let us have understanding that is how I have that is calculated that. See, I have taken over here M so that the floating rate of interest burden is shifted from T to E. Now as far as the E limited is concerned, it should have the payment of the interest as M minus 0.45. That is the reason. So whatever 0.5 that it is required to pay, again such it should receive say 0.95 that is 0.45 more. And over there automatically the things will be adjusted. Let us see that say, how does it adjust. Whatever M it is required to pay itself is received over here. Further it is required to pay 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is negative. 0 0.2 is also negative. And 0 0.95 is also negative. So that comes to 1.75. This is with the way the swap arrangement will be made.
friends over here there is a mistake on my end in showing the sign this is the payment and this is the receipt okay so that is the way we will have the final interest payment so step number 1 step number 2 swap number 3 swap arrangement and this is the final table